Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this week I'm going through the Gospel of Mark, my favorite gospel, and talking about the miracles and the sermons and how they're connected to each other when Jesus lives out living sermons, when he teaches and preaches through action. So one of the most amazing miracles that happens in all four Gospels is the feeding of the 5,000. And the, you know, the stories get different details and all this other things, but it happens in all four Gospels. And at the end of it, in the Gospel of Mark, around chapter 8, verse 1 is where the story begins. Around the end of it, Jesus begins teaching to his disciples and talking to them. They get into the boat, and they're sailing across the waters, which is an important thing. I don't know if you've noticed, but Jesus keeps hopping back and forth across waters in the Gospel of Mark, and that in itself is kind of a bookend moment. But Jesus is in the boat, and he begins telling them, beware the yeast of the Pharisees. Well, they just had had a miracle. They just had collected a bunch of bread, and then they're like, oh yeah, we forgot to bring the bread. Is that really what Jesus is talking about? No. Yeast is an ingredient that we put in bread. It's what causes the bread to rise and to form. It changes and alters the bread from the inside out. Jesus has been trying to teach the disciples that it's not what comes into a human being that makes us unclean or defiled. You know, go back to the first two lessons this week. But it's what comes out. It's theft and avarice and, and, and lust and all these other things, anger. We too often allow yeast of something that is not cool to be within us, and it transforms us completely. The Pharisees in the Gospel of Mark are very in tune about power, and they want to have control over the people. They want to have the right answers. They want to be the one giving the right answers. Jesus tells the disciples, Jesus tells you and I, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees. Instead, count on the bread that God is providing. Count on the manna that God gives us daily. Count on the lessons and the teachings of Jesus that teach us how to be compassionate, how to offer mercy, how to offer grace to one another. The disciples are in the boat, and Jesus says, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees. And they're like, oh yeah, we don't have any bread. That's not what Jesus is talking about. Jesus is actually talking about the way and what we allow inside. If we allow things, to, if we allow ourselves to be critical or judgmental on the inside, it's going to be expressed on the outside. On the other hand, if we allow ourselves to have the yeast of Jesus, the change agent of redemption and repentance, it will come outside as well. Choose that yeast. Choose the change that Christ is working in your heart. Offer a prayer to him today asking Jesus, how can I be more like how you teach me? Perform that miracle again in me. Feed 5,000 through me, through my heart. Lord, in your mercy we pray.